Welcome to the Paradise Falls Community Report. Today's weather, clear skies, calm waters, another perfect day in Paradise Falls. to be my heart so that it may feel the wisdom of the spirit. Blessed be my eyes so they may see the path of true compassion. May the love of the Lord and Lady encompass me all the day. Each morning a new journey begins. Where it takes me, so mote it be. Last night, huh? How about toast? What's that supposed to be? What the fuck does it look like? It's a case of scotch. Pete, I told you I don't want your payoffs and don't curse him here. It's not a payoff. It's a thank you from a grateful constituent. But if you don't want it... You're gonna get me in trouble. I am the mayor. I'll get you off for good behavior. Oh, oh no, no. You reek of cigar. Now you can kiss me. Oh, sorry. Are you open? I can come back no, no, later. No, we're, we're open, Rose. <laughs> Go with me. Um, the mayor was just leaving. No, I wasn't. Good morning, Rose. Morning. Could I have a coffee and something sweet, please? Mm -hmm. So your daughter-in-law is coming in to try on her dress today. That's a uh, granddaughter-in-law, you old timer. Be careful, Rose. She might poison you. Mm -mm. Saving all my poison for someone else. <laughs> now, you said something sweet, right? Yes, please. Oh, and can I get some cream and two sugars? You know, it's rude to stare. Sorry. Isn't it kind of uh, open for you to be swimming around naked? Does it bother you? Not at all. You're not uncomfortable with your body, are you? It's not that. It's just a bit surprising. Well, it's only natural to be naked in the water. Besides, it's a fun way to meet people. Am I right? Absolutely. Rocks! 
Are you coming? She's not in. Go away. Hi. Hey. Okay, don't go far, okay? Because I, I need you around here. Groceries. Your mother's out of vodka. <laughs> you hear what he's saying to me? Are you listening to him? I'll get it later. Where are you going? She's running away. Oh, don't provoke her. We're not going anywhere. We're just kind of bumming around. If you want to hang around with my daughter, then you're going to treat me with a little bit of respect. You have a nice day, Mother Hunter. You won't be long. I'm watching you! I told him he's not allowed in here. He wants to see the wedding dress. Oh, it's bad luck. You have to go. Mm. Mm. I know when I'm not wanted. Oh, never. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. I have to go anyway. I gotta go meet the mayor. Okay. Take care of her, Rose. Are you okay? Your eyes look puffy. Oh. You know, I sell this moisturizer. It's part of this whole beauty regime. Skin-wise, it'll take away all those wrinkles. I bought some donuts. Would you like one? Oh, not for me. I have to fit into my wedding dress, but you have one. Oh, right. I think I will. <laughs> Do me a favor. No problem. Don't be a pig. What? I want you to stop fighting with my mom. She's a fucking loon. She's my mother. I'm sorry, but the woman appears to be a little insane. She wants you guys to like each other. Not likely. I like you. <laughs> mm. I'm not here. Someone's gonna see us. Fucking tourists. Who cares? I want you, Rox, now. You? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, you're gonna have to catch me first. <laughs> Maybe I should go for one of those big cupcake dresses. Oh, I think the simple one is better. I suppose so. Budget-wise, we've got to keep it tight. Mm -hmm. This one's cheaper and it's more practical. Yeah, not very romantic, though. Not that Nick would care. I mean, I could wear a garbage bag, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, men are so, you know, you know. So you think it's pretty? Oh, yeah, he's going to love it. Yeah, but it's not just him. I want to look good for Nick's grandpa and his mom. Oh, I didn't know Sarah was back in town. Well, not yet, but we're expecting her any day now. I hear she's a real character. Yeah, she has a, she has a strong personality. I don't even know what the lady looks like. <laughs> Fucking home. Bonnie <gasps> Bernini. Is that you? Francis. I didn't recognize you. Wow. It's been how long? 14 years? So what's changed around here? Uh, well, we got a new wharf a couple years ago out by the river road, actually, and it burnt down in a fireworks accident, so you can't see it no more. And uh, they built the fairgrounds over in Fenmore. Uh, it's a really big one with a, a, a roundabout and two Ferris wheels. Actually, I don't really care. I was just being polite. So it must be pretty big news to drag you back home. Came to visit my sister. Oh, yeah. You and Rose are always so close. That's a real reason. 
personal. Well, looks like you did real good for yourself. Let's just say I don't drink out of flasks anymore. Promise me you won't tell Rose you saw me. I want to surprise her. Hey, you know me, Vonnie. Wild horses. <sighs> Nobody stays in the water that long. I do. I'm a Pisces. I bet you're a Scorpio. How'd you know that? You look the type. Prickly, but cute. Prickly. <laughs> you haven't uh, turned into a fish in there yet, have you? Mm, not yet. I still have real legs. I'll show you. Get away for that air. It's not like that shit you breathe in the city. <laughs> hey, look, Grandpa, about the wedding. I got it all worked look, out. You're going to way too much trouble. Not too much trouble. You're my only grandson. You know, what's the point of being mayor if you can't, you know, pull a few strings? I know, but Mom's out of town. No, and I really if want we to wait for, for your get... mother, you won't get married to your 40. She's useless. Look, don't get started. Hey, when your dad brought her home 20 odd years ago, I said she was no good. She has no respect for, for family. family. Yeah. She was out of town the day your father died. You think she's going to be here for your wedding? I don't think so. So are you talking about Sarah? Oh, hey. Hey, do you know where she is? Go on, Braga. Tell your grandson what he really wants to know. Now, Francis, I told Nick I don't know anything, and you know that's true. Come on, Nick, let's go. nature girl. I believe in being part of the environment rather than hiding from it. Self-empowering. You say so? How long are you in Paradise Falls for? I haven't decided, but it's starting to look more interesting. What's your name? David. David Silverman. Well, David Silverman, better run off before I turn into a pumpkin. Wait, I don't even know your name. Pamela. I work at the restaurant at the marina. Come on, I'll buy you breakfast. My god, this place never changes. Yvonne! Still dressing like a drag queen. Well, you know, somebody's got to bring a little glamour to the tourists. <laughs> Give me a drink and fast. Oh, a big. Red wine. <laughs> I just saw Frances out there. How did she get so old and we stayed so young? Oh, it's just good genes, Flower. So you're still working here? Nope. I own it. <laughs> yeah. I bought it from the O'Briens about eight years ago. Good for you. How's business? Don't ask. Well, oh, nobody comes to Paradise Falls anymore. So, you seen Rose yet? Oh, please, I'm only on my first volume. Let me check out the cottage first. And you're not gonna stay with her? What, do I look like a fucking Mormon? <laughs> please, your language, you're talking to a lady here. Sheesh. I got the key. My father wants me to show it to a client at one, but until then, it's all ours. <laughs> Look, can we just drop this? I mean, we haven't even picked a date yet. Oh, I picked one for you. The second of next month. That's in two weeks. Would you please tell him to stop trying to run my life? No, I learned long ago you never say no to your granddad because he's just going to do what he wants. And what if mom doesn't show up by the second? She won't. That's the idea. Could you uh, 
Wait a couple of seconds. Yvonne Bernini. I never forget a face. <laughs> and I never forget a bone crushing hello. Nice to see you, Mayor Braga. Hey, Nick, come here. Remember Nick, my grandson? Look at you, you got all handsome. Well, you know where he gets that from. He's getting married. Congratulations. Thank you. Second to next month, so if you're planning to be in town, you should come. I will, thank you. And save a dance for me, huh? I don't really dance. I do, I love to dance. How much for the drink be? Oh, on the house. <laughs> Gentlemen, until we meet again. She was fun. She's a slut. <laughs> oh, it must be nice selling wedding dresses. Oh, I don't just sell wedding dresses. I sell French fashions and lingerie, too. Really? Mm -hmm. But wedding dresses are my favorite. <gasps> I guess you've seen a lot of nervous brides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and tall brides and thin brides. But that's what makes it interesting. <laughs> So what kind of dress did you wear on your wedding? I, I actually haven't been married yet. Not good. I mean, I mean, not good that I will get married. <laughs> I think I need a boyfriend first. Oh. <clears throat> well, you can't have mine. <laughs> <laughs> so you all done here? Your bride's gonna take your breath away. Oh, she already does. <laughs> Uh, you weren't supposed to be here until one. It is one. You can't tell because you're not wearing a watch. Shit. Okay, just give me one minute. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? You're not showing it to someone else, are you? You're not George Mansfield. I'm his son. I'll just wait up here. Please, come in, and I'll show you the cottage. Do I take a number, or should I just leave my clothes on the porch? Some news. You'll never guess who I saw today. <laughs> Give me a hint. Yvonne. Yvonne who? Your sister, Yvonne. I saw her. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have told you. You know what? I'm, I. She. She. She wanted it to be a surprise. She asked me not to tell, but I. I. Still, I, I couldn't stop myself. So are you surprised? I knew you'd be surprised. And this is the deck. It wraps around the entire back of the cottage. I guess it'll be all right. It's one of our best units. I assume the hot tub is fully functional. Oh, of course. And the trees provide a privacy screen for any romantic encounters. Is that what you were doing when I came in? We're just friends. <laughs> Chums. Sweeties. Now about the money. We need a deposit. I mailed a check over a week ago. Well, my father said we didn't get it. So why don't you write a new check and we'll, we'll destroy the old one when it comes. I don't have any new checks on me. Let's just wait another day. The check I mailed will get here. I'll take it. Good. By the way, I'm assuming you're going to change the sheets in the bedroom.
Coming. Keep calling you, darling. But don't answer me. I don't like that. Makes me feel ignored. I told your boss he'll get his money, and he will. So back off. Mr. Oliver just wants to know that you're being serious. Are you being serious? Do I look serious? You're funny. I do birthday parties. Is that everything? Mr. Oliver's not a very patient man. Neither am I. I'm getting a big inheritance. When I get it, you'll get it. Got it? Now leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Watch your fucking mouth! Can you watch my fucking mouth? Fuck you! Oh, I... There's something here. What is it? Somebody's purse. <laughs> Jackpot. And there's ID. Or just Sarah Braga. Oh, there's blood on it. Don't touch it. Lady with your might, grace me with a second sight. Inside a place where no 